there guys welcome back to another video of all things apple plus we have a great video for you guys today an oldie but a goodie and a kind of a twist on how to get a third party emulator onto your guys iDevice for free no jailbreak needed now this is going to be with the aid of Cydia Impactor as I've shown you guys right here here is their main page what I'll do is I'll leave the link for Cydia Impactor in the description down below this is their main page so all you need to do is just navigate over to their site choose the type of computer that you have whether it be Mac or Windows download their software and install it onto your onto your computer so you will need a computer for this tutorial now, with that said, with any sort of with City Impactor, make sure that you do have an Apple ID that does not have two type factor authentication. Now, also, what I'll be doing is I'll leave the link for the INDS emulator in the description down below. You can go ahead and navigate over there with your computer and then download the actual IPA. That's the actual app that is going to go into your iDevice that you're going to go ahead and install onto your device. So, I'll leave, again, I'll leave the link for that in the description down below. The, it's very small and size so it should be a pretty quick and fast download now here is the main hub for city impactor you it's just a uh, a normal box where you will have you know where you will be able to drag your dot ipa into the actual into the actual file itself so as you have the ipa right here we're going to actually pull this ipa and then we're going to drag and literally drop it into the actual city impactor application so just like that and immediately is going to initiate and is going to ask us for our apple id and for our passcode so make sure that you do have two type factor authentication off if you do not make sure that you create a brand new apple id with two type factor authentication off that way you can go ahead and initiate and install the INDS emulator onto your iDevice. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my username and passcode and I actually wanted to put side by side my iPhone so that way you guys can see the, how the whole process looks when you do download and when you actually initiate and upload the actual IPA onto your iDevice. So we can see the different types of files within the background are currently being loaded into my iDevice and then we should at the very end see the actual INDS emulator populate onto our iDevice. So there we go, there we have it. Just like that, populates without any sort of problems and you shouldn't have any problems as well too. If you do run into any sort of errors, please let me know in the in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Now that doesn't take care of what we gotta do now is we gotta make sure that we get some <laughs> ROMs now for our INDS emulator. So just to show you guys that it does currently work on my iDevice, I go. I went ahead and made sure that I did some, a, you know, a screen recording for this. So currently, under the settings section, under profiles and device management, you will be able to see all the applications that you have loaded through City Impactor on your iDevice. So on my Uncover Jailbreak, the INDS emulator will be on there. So let's go ahead and navigate into the app, get some ROMs, and uh, get get to playing. Really. So from here we have ROMs Mania, one of the main sources. I'm gonna just download Pokemon Diamond. It's just the easiest download that you can get. And go ahead and hit that green button. It should say your ROM is downloading. And then as a sub is as a dot seven Z file, this should the INDS emulator not should, but it will unpackage that ROM for you. So it just takes a little bit of time just to load onto your onto your device and for it to unpackage. So give it some give it a time give it a little bit and it should be able to uh, unpackage for you at that time. So let's go ahead and wait for that to load. Awesome. So currently it's opening up the device or opening up the ROM and then awesome. We do have our cover photo from there and we can go ahead and launch the ROM. So as you can see here, the ROM launches perfectly and there's no issues, no problems. And this is all just by getting the IPA going to City Impactor, loading it up in City Impactor, and then having that install onto your iDevice. So I hope you guys did like this tutorial. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe if you found it informative. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comment section down below. Peace. If I need an extra, that means